So good afternoon. I wanted to uh, touch the uh, base here today just um, to show you this actually on the car and how this works with this duty cycle, negative duty cycle or off part of it and the positive duty cycle on the on part or on portion of it. Now this here, I'm hooked up right now with all my three meters on pin number, terminal number one, which is TD and that is actually the RPM of the vehicle or of the engine as it is running right now, which is somewhere around 650, I would say. And uh, we can take a look at this. This is what the signal actually looks like it on the scope. And let's see what the scope tells us. There we go. What do we have here? Duty cycle is about minus 18. And the positive one is about 83. So 17 to 83 versus 18 to 82. And our frequency bounces around 45 hertz, so 44 hertz, 45 hertz. The uh, signal itself for the TV, we got a nice signal of 10.8, 10.8 volts right here, that's VPP. Um, the RMS is 9.2. You can see we can read all of these things up. Average is 8.6. Um, the peaks are 10.3 volts. Our mess is 9.3, so we can read all of this stuff off. But now, let me show you this. The radio shack meter I have is when the plus pole is connected to terminal number one to the actual signal, and the black one is connected to the chassis. Then we're reading here the 82%. And the pole diagnostic from NAPA, which is one of my favorite tools, shows us the 17 to 18 percent so this actually indicates when they are polarized plus goes to the signal which is terminal number one and black one goes to ground so this shows us the negative and this shows us the positive positive. and since i have the california version you can see this i have the light on for my little push button and that means we are in a closed loop mode and we can actually pick the signal up here on pin number three and we have on the positive side about 48 49 and the ground just fell off on the um, on the napa meter the ground has to be connected well we're right at 50 51 and now this one doesn't make good connections they have to be making a pretty good connection, otherwise they're showing pretty ironic values. And that is not that tough. easy with all these things I got locked in here. But we have a duty cycle of 50. It kind of bounces, you can see this. And we have a duty cycle here of 40 to 50. So we're pretty much in there. Now the entire idea is to actually have the same duty cycle on, um, so this is showing us about 47, 48. This is the positive one and this is the negative one. So it's a tad bit off, but this is acceptable. But now what we want to see, we're going to watch this here and we're going to increase the RPM. the same and that's what you see so we have the enrichment process is working correctly and this is how this car actually needs to be set up um, I hooked up the fuel pressure gauge and right now this is my uh, system pressure um, and you can see it we're about 0.1 bar above from where we need to be and when I go up we'll let's we'll see if I can see the point two one and a half point one five bar up and you can see this we're right in a difference of 0.4. This is not the most precise gauge. So, you know, this was a cheap one. That we're exactly there where we need it to be. And this is what our engine looks like. It. And this engine, like I said, this was rebuilt about 125,000 miles ago. 
and what you're seeing now is the timing chain or not the timing chain has been replaced texture has been replaced and the light shape we have in the system is coming from our right hand camshaft because that is still uh, off by three degrees timing degrees i haven't fixed this yet and then we have to check on what the pressure loss actually is in the each cylinder and how well the valves close i figure that's why i said this before i probably have about another 20,000 miles or so left on this car especially since i took out the timing chain the baby chain which was in there and stretched already in that baby tensioner and replace it with an MD parts and i have 2040 in there in oil which is thick enough to actually keep that um, tension of that oil pressure tension of the chain happy um, so that's basically what we got here and i hope that was helpful for you you have a great afternoon